Alrighty, everyone, you already know from the title what is going to happen to Scott in Ant Man of the Wasp Quantumania. I have a theory, I have two options. Let's discuss. Obviously, we know Scott is going to get absolutely beaten in this film by Kang the Conqueror. Obviously, Kang's the villain, Kang needs something. What does he need? Well, he needs Scott to get him this special device to help him. Obviously, Scott obliges because Kang offers him more time with his daughter, but then Kang backstabs him. So, what is going to happen to Ant-Man at the end of the film? Because obviously he says, I don't have to win. We just both have to lose. So, something major obviously has to go down. Personally, I think what will be going down is this. I do believe Scott will be dying in this film, personally. And I think he will go down in a very heroic way. I've got a few reasons for this. Number one. Marvel have been doing this for 15 years now. They gotta change up the formula, okay? Because otherwise, their movies are gonna start getting stale. So, it should be the first time that a character is killed in their solo film. Plus, it would set up kind of the, the groundwork and kind of why the Avengers reform for Kang Dynasty. Because I don't think there's any one person in the MCU who hates Scott Lang unless you're called, you know, Yellow Jacket. He's a very likable person, everyone likes him. And for this to happen to him would obviously signify, right guys, we need to band together. We need to start the Avengers back up. And it would obviously show Kang is a formidable threat because Ant-Man, if he puts his mind to it, Ant-Man can be a pretty powerful Avenger. Now you may say, okay, this is quite sad, but it also sticks with the character arc. You know, he's trying to get time. And then his ultimate sacrifice will be to sacrifice his own life, which in turn gives him no more time. So I think that'd be a pretty heroic way to go. Plus, if he does survive, I don't know what other purpose he could serve in the MCU. Like, if he died, his character arc would be complete. He would accept the fact that he's messed up and he has to sacrifice his life. So I think it'd be a perfect way to end his character arc and for Scott to finally be happy with the time he got with Cassie. So, hopefully that's what happens. However, this could go a completely different way as well. He could survive the film. By him saying, I don't have to win, we just both have to lose. Maybe Kang and him get stuck in the quantum realm together, which is what a lot of people are saying, including my brother. I could see this happening, but I don't think it would be as emotional. And I don't think him going, I don't have to win, we just both have to lose, covered in blood. I think this is his death. I don't think the line would be as powerful. Um, but I can definitely see him being stuck in the quantum realm with Kang. And then like Avengers 5 is quick. We have to get Ant-Man out of the quantum realm. Oh no. We got Kang the Conqueror out as well. Oh no. We have like five other Kang variants. We have Kang the Conqueror. Who's in Ant-Man the Wasp Quantum Mania. Um, who would I, th I think would be the main Kang. Um, because... Kang could die and then like come back in a different way and I still think he's going to be the villain of Secret Wars but I think Ant-Man's going to die in this film yeah Ant-Man's going to die that's my prediction but what do you guys think thank you so much for watching until next time my friends bye bye